Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Life. I'm so thankful you took the time and wanted to spend a few minutes with me looking at some beautiful quilts. Oh, do I have a fun surprises for you today. We're gonna look at some applique quilts. So don't be a chicken. I know sometimes that applique word chase you away. Today, you're gonna be inspired and wanted to cut all your fabrics into little branches, leaves, or maybe, like I said, tiny little chickens and applique onto the background. You know, spring is here and with the rain and showers, you wanted to dance in the petals of rainbows. And I have this beautiful quilt. This quilt is excellent for beginners because it gives you fun shapes that you can practice with it. It has three shapes in an applique, lotus handle, a little glow, and the umbrella shape. And this one would be perfect to try some fusible uh, hand applique or machine applique. This one calls dancing umbrella and I just love this quilt. It's fun and simple to make because it's made with layer cakes. I have quite a few patterns where I'm using a layer cake as my fabrics and I can fit my shapes right on it. So dancing umbrella may be that fun startup point. And now you know with spring and showers, you have all the beautiful flowers. Another applique quilt that I brought it for you is this spring uh, wagon. I love this one. And this one is done with raw edge applique. Fusible applique, you can do finish edge, do a little blanket stitch like I have on my chicken, or you can do raw edge. What that means, you leave the edges raw and your quilting stitch that it's one eighth on the inside of your flowers is what holds your shapes down and it's the applique stitch. And this spring wagon, it's perfect to hang on a wall for now and celebrate all the flowers that are blooming outside and coming and popping around it. And speaking of flowers and gardens, look at this beautiful quilt. Hop to it is the name of the book, but I'm also hoping that you are gonna hop right to it and decide on some wonderful appliques. Look at this, all these wonderful applique blocks Many times when I do projects, I like to do sampler quilts where I can try all different designs and different blocks. And this one is perfect for anybody that want to try a little bit of applique. If you're still afraid of applique, trying something simple, something just basic, circle is a fun shape to do it. And look at it, this is a pieced quilt, but the center circle right here in this beautiful grandmother's garden right here this circle is applique and if you get hooked to circles maybe you're not gonna be able to stop it like me and do a quilt just like this one da 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 all those three inch blocks with a circle in the center are perfect to practice applique hand machine or fusible. And if you visit my YouTube channel, I have a class on basic applique and how to do it. So go there and look at that one. Let's keep going because I can tell you are now excited about some beautiful applique quilts. One of the first one that I ever made is this elegant garden. It has 24 applique blocks and 25th, the center block, it's pieced one, that double eight point star. It's also a part of my border. Each block is just delightful and I use scraps from my Civil War reproduction and I just enjoy playing and just painting with fabrics, all those beautiful flowers. We do have that pattern on our website. My pride and joy is my applique affair. After two weeks of my uh, being in my sewing room, playing around, singing and dancing and making my applique blocks, this quilt happened and I named it applique affair. I really enjoyed that one, <coughs> if you know what I mean. This one was so much fun. I painted all the flowers, little circles, and this quilt, what it's so special about it, I combined batiks and prints in all the blocks to give it like a really good color to it. I love doing that. This is just delightful. So applique affair 
Maybe you want a bigger blocks. 16 inch is the size that you would like to do it. And this quilt calls Sweet 16. And notice how beautiful and big the blocks are. Isn't that delightful? Even if you do one of them and create a pillow, this would be fun to do it. So this is another applique blocks, applique quilt, where is the album style where you have all different blocks. And what happened when you do fall in love with a block? and you want to do more of that same block over and over, you get a quilt like this. Uh, this one is uh, just amazing. And I love the blues in it and the little golden greens just gives that fun color to it. The block is right here. And I repeat it four times to create a bigger design and a four times to get this wonderful quilt. I love the quilting on it. And the background is all Japanese woven. So it gives you like a really nice, great tint to it. This is a similar example where one block repeated over and over creates this whole applique quilt. This one is from our book, Scrappy Fireworks. And I love the triangle setting into this one and the dark black borders. Mm, so much fun, so much fun. I did this one with fusible applique. And I also recommend if you wanna do it by hand, using a bias tape maker would be amazing. Oh guys, this is so much fun. But back into album quilt style, can you imagine every single block from this quilt is made with the exact same shapes. It's just different layouts. You repeat the branches, berry, flowers, all of those wonderful things just use different layouts. This home sweet home pattern gives you a perfect layout for our silhouettes called jelly bean silhouettes. And I just use one package for each block and create this wonderful quilt. If you love applique quilts like me, you are going to love this one. And what we have is pre-cut pieces for this wonderful summer field quilt, inspired by an antique quilt with the permission of the museum, we were able to create a beautiful sets of blocks and you can purchase them on our website and open your blocks. I'm gonna show you in just a moment how you do that. Just get a one of the blocks, open it up, you have background, you have everything all together and start fusing and stitching around the edges and applique. You know, sometimes an applique are not the center of attention of a quilt. We have talked about beautiful square quilts and look at the applique border on this beauty. Isn't that delightful? Sometimes the applique is just that delicate accent that we add to our pieced quilts. And I brought two wonderful examples for you. Oh, isn't that delightful? Look at this one. The applique just floating back and forth on the border between the houses. If you wonder, the houses are the same houses from our blue barn quilt and our blue barn templates are perfect to create this one. We have this pattern available as well because of the applique, you're gonna need those layouts. And can you imagine, crinkle your eyes, have the houses in blue and white and you know, our um, perfect union appliques are perfect for this area. So you can use them and enjoy appliquing and adding a little extra detail to your beautiful quilt. Oh, spread your wings and start flying with applique. Our new a kit that we just added to our website called Monarch. We just made more of those. It's from our best-selling collection called uh, Bed of Roses. This one is delightful. I love this because you have the big butterflies, but then you have the medium ones and you have few little baby ones perfect for a little girl's room, no matter what fabric you choose. And if you choosing your own fabrics, fat quarters are perfect for this quilt because you get a big butterfly, medium and a small, and then you can shuffle the wings around and have some fun. I just want to put a little spotlight on two more quilts. This one A calls California. We just finished the kits. We just had few more added to our website. And notice in California how the applique 
is right here in the borders and adds to the beautiful quilt. Or if you are a fan of our spring bouquet, look what the applique did to this quilt. Oh, I just love it. I absolutely love this one. And this month we're starting our next block of the month. This was our block of the month from last year. If you did not have done this with us, do not worry. We have few kits left. So you can go to our website and get some of the super bloom uh, kits. Everything is included, the applique, all your pieces. Uh, now we're starting our new block of the month, Anna's Baskets. There will be a tiny bit of applique, not a lot in that one, just the handles on our baskets. But if you wanted to, for those two, we do have kids and we absolutely love you to visit our website at Laundry Basket Quilts and enjoy those kids and play around. The quilt behind me, Pride and Joy, calls Super Bloom. And you're probably gonna ask me, where do I get those pieces for this beautiful quilt? First, you can grab a kit, we have it, or you can grab a bundle like Aloha and start cutting your own pieces. But I have to show you this. The girls made sure I had it in my stash right here. You can just grab blocks like this. This is a one block. Let me see, this is block number one. So look at block number one. And all that you do is open it up, get your own background and start putting the pieces down, fuse them down, stitch around the edges and you have a beautiful, beautiful quilt. We've done a lot of the work for you by cutting and prepping all the different things. All right, so let's go quickly. I love this basket. I have so many fun things. Remember that Summerfield quilt, the big applique one? Look at those blocks. Every block is packaged. This one is so special because we included the background for you. Some of our appliques, we don't include the background because I want you to choose your own background. If you want a little dar or darker, then go for it. If you want a little lighter and a little bit more brighter, then you have that choice. And the background really sets the mood for your quilt. But having all the pieces done and pre-cut for you, gold. It's so much fun. Look at all those beautiful, tiny pieces everything is pre-cut ready set go for you just like this and look at those isn't that beautiful you can just go ahead and start applying one by one and that's what's special we have individual blocks or we have a full kit so like this is a um, spring bouquet with our linen texture fabric and we have the full kits or you can purchase block by block if you would rather do that. Do we have any questions today, Erin? Oh, I'm gonna pull this out. You have to, I'm so sorry, Erin. I just noticed it. You remember the first kit that I showed you, the first quilt? We do have a kit for this. This is the dancing umbrella with all those beautiful batiks. My eyes went right for it because I love those rainbow colors and those beautiful fabrics. Yes, Erin? So one of our questions was um, wanting to know, are you gonna have any new batik collections coming soon? We have a lot of different fabrics coming up. We are working on batiks right now. They're taking a little bit more time, but I have something super special prepared for you guys. So we have many collections coming out. Uh, I have a collection of wovens and it is stunning. So that's gonna be the next one. And then yes, we will have more batiks as well. If we do not have my batiks, we always carry beautiful batiks like the Aloha batiks from Moda. We have them on our website. So just visit our website. Anything that we have it, I personally choose and make sure that the colors are something that I would have wanna use in my quilts. And I hope you follow my lead. And I'm so excited. I have to tell you this, um, you know, we're gonna be at the Pigeon Ford uh, a show so this is we have been home for so long I am so looking forward and I can't wait to see you guys there and visit and get all the input what you want me to do next so I love that uh, we did have a question about the upcoming mystery quilt and about when that will be starting. So we want to kick in first our block of the month what it's Anna's baskets so I'm expecting middle of this month we're gonna surprise you with our mystery quilt get ready it's gonna be all life 
I'm gonna, you only get the recipes for the blocks by watching our YouTube channel. So get ready, get excited. It is so fun, so simple. We have simple blocks that gonna create the most beautiful, beautiful medallion quilt you've seen it. It is stunning. And we're gonna do it in blue and we're gonna do it in rainbow arrangements. So you're gonna have two options and, uh, we're still working some details if we're gonna do it like last time every single day we do not want to wear you out i'll give you like every second day we see but that's gonna be the mystery but sometimes beginning of this month we're gonna start it up um we did have a question in regards to machine applique yes and wanting to know what threads do you use in the bobbin and for the top for your machine so for applique. machine applique i always use cotton thread in my bobbin and i use 2370 because it's a little bit darker it's like a it's a taupe it blends beautifully with any of my colors that i use on the top and what i love about cotton in my bobbin because when i finish my blocks i can turn them from the back and press them from the back and then everything is just beautiful so i never press my applique blocks from the front only if I'm using a pressing cloth and I want to let you on something new and exciting I am going to show you some uh, tips and some how to so stay tuned and I'm gonna make sure I focus on a lot of the things that you're asking us through the questions how do you do this how do you do that I'm making sure we are watching those questions and we will prepare some fun shows for you uh, to go along with the machine applique, what needle size do you like? I love the size 80 Macrotex embroidery needle for machine applique. So you can use that one. Uh, so um, that's for fusible machine applique. If you're doing just machine applique, you want a thicker needle because when the edges are turned under, you want that needle to push from the edge away. So you want a little bit thicker one. And like I said, in those how-to shows, I'm gonna focus on one small thing and show you how how to do it so it's not in a big show so you don't have to look through to find it I got you girls I and guys I got you do not worry I am so thankful that you tune in on Thursday and you're visiting and leaving us all the comments and questions because it helps me really look to it uh, look forward to something that I can help you with machine quilting machine applique or any other things that you need me for Hello. Hi, happy Easter to everybody too. We are so excited in the office. We're just looking forward. We, today we're going to have a little Easter lunch and hoping that uh, we enjoy each other's company. And I hope you stay healthy, safe, and do many quilting. Yeah, we actually did just have a question come yes. in from Erica wanting to know, do you Hi, always Erica. use fusible applique? Do I what? Do you always use fusible applique? No, I don't. I am a huge fan of hand applique, machine applique, or fusible applique. A lot of my business quilts are fusible applique because I can do them very quickly and I can have them ready for a show. So I focus on that and there's only so much time that I can get my things done. So the fusible applique has been taking over because how fast I can do the quilts. But I have to tell you, there is nothing more special and exciting than sit and watch your favorite TV show and stitch little edges around it and enjoy hand applique or hand quilting. So I absolutely love that too. And I have done quite a few quilts with hand applique and many of them are my home quilts that I use it at home and enjoy it every day. And um, I have to tell you, I usually choose my applique depends what the quilt is made for, how fast I have to get it done. So fusible, I can whip up a quilt in a weekend and applique the whole thing. Hand applique, it takes me a little bit longer. And one more thing for today is, can we have you talk about the three quilts behind you as well? Yes. But, sweetheart, so the spring bouquet, maybe you could show the kit, and because the girls are asking, is it available as a kit or is it block by block? And it's of course block. It's Yes, so the quilt behind me is available in two options. Option A is our linen texture option, and I'm gonna open this kit so you see it. 
pattern yes block and this is a block kit and this is um, you have the pattern is included each block come in a little package with the picture on the back which block is it you have to purchase your own background and your own binding this one just have the pieces for the applique so it's just the blocks the applique pieces it's no background in this one and like i said if it's a somebody that does modern quilting and they want a gray background they have that option to choose it and use a gray background where i did mine with a muslin with a uh, linen texture it's like muslin color it's very light um, this uh, quilt is a boutique one and this one we have it available as block by block and you can purchase the blocks on our website and we so there's nine blocks in this one and then we have a border the border is block number 10 and you need four of them to make the whole quilt but what i love about this one again you can choose your own boutique we have beautiful boutiques on our web website for the background and i just last week purchased a few more to add it to our website so don't you worry i got this and then for the little patches right here, I would recommend little layer cake or charm pack from our Aloha collection that we have it also on our website. It's from its Modas collection. We have it on our website. So I would go for the Aloha fabrics for those little patches, but blocks all pre-cut, ready, set, go. And I wanted to tell you something. Many times I take silhouettes and I match them. So this could match to another project. So you can use it for different projects. Uh, this is a different package, but the fabric is exactly the same. But there are packages of silhouettes that I use on different projects. It's just the layout. Remember that quilt that I showed you? There were nine blocks and every one was made with exact same package called Jelly Bean. And I just laid out differently. And I brought something to show you um, the difference. This called snippets and this called silhouettes. Silhouettes have fusible up, uh, webbing on it. Snippets have a quarter inch for my hand applicators. We also have shapes that you can purchase from us for all my hand applicators. And all that you do is lay them on your background. You don't turn the edges, you have a quarter inch. So I brought both packages because you can do all the quilts just by purchasing one or the other. We don't have snippets for all our quilts, but we do have it for quite a few. So just email us or go ahead to the, our website, go to applique shapes. And I recommend small project and trying something low like a pillow or maybe a smaller project we have those beautiful pillows from pillow talk book um erin would you grab me one of the two of the pillows that are right there i did bring it for you guys to see it so if you are a new applicator thank you so much erin uh, if you are new in applicating, getting something like this, a kit where all your pieces pre-cut, practice your stitch would work really, really nice. And the pillow talk kits are really nice for that. We have a Mother's Day uh, kit that it has the most beautiful reef, perfect to do it now. You're going to be ready for Mother's Day in May. So something to think about it. Is there any other questions? No. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I cannot wait to see you next Thursday and I am bringing a rainbow of quilts to you next Thursday. So tune in. You're going to love it. We have some new things coming out. Our seamstress collection is coming in. Our Anna's baskets uh, block of the month is starting up. I want to especially thank those girls that signed up for our block of the month. Please visit our website and on monday tune in we have a brand new pattern called moonstone and brand new templates for our pattern of the week so so many exciting things and sometimes middle of the month i'm gonna ask you to join me for our mystery quilt i hope you're ready for this fun surprise